So I'm heading home now. Janet called me up, said that somebody stole her license plate, so I'm gonna have to play Batman and be the detective to figure out what's going on with that. We don't really live in a bad neighborhood, but there's people that stay in our neighborhood that aren't exactly the best people to be around. So I have to figure that part out. But yeah, so far that's my day. I just got out of work, I'm heading home right now. Um, really traffic isn't too bad, but I'm just gonna see how things go throughout here. Yeah, it's definitely not there. That sucks. That means that now I have to go to the DMV, get a new plate, wait in line. Ah, <laughs> this week just keeps getting great. Today we've got some packages. Nothing huge in these boxes, but it is cool. So I did order a few things. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my drone hasn't been working lately, so I wanted to show you something that I, I got for that situation. So let's open these up. These are actually my batteries for the LED system that I had picked up recently. Hmm. These are Sony batteries. Pretty sweet. These are uh, a pretty common battery, which is kind of cool because it's so big and you can get them in larger sizes. A lot of people get these to be able to power their, their items. Looks like this is the adapter for my uh, LED so that I can plug it in. I can use the other adapter but I want to have this one so I don't have to take away my RC charger. Here's the charger. Also comes with a uh, international adapter and a car charger which is pretty handy. This is the LED panel. This is the back of the LED panel. I haven't charged these yet, but maybe they already are. Oh, there it is. See that? Put the battery right in, just like that. And it's turned on. It's pretty cool because it's wireless, so I can use it in a tight situation. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So we'll, actually we'll probably leave that on there. That looks pretty cool. Uh, another cool thing about this light is that you can actually turn the, the brightness down. So we'll, I think you can get it down to like 26 or something like that. So the percentage is a little bit lower. Yeah, you can see the brightness like boom. So we'll turn it down right there. And that, that's pretty good right there, right? Okay. These batteries are out of the way. By the way, these were 20 bucks. Uh, I got them from the same seller that I bought the LED from. Uh, honestly, the batteries, because these batteries are so useful, uh, I understand why they sell them separate. It's a little bit of annoyance you have to buy it separately, but I mean, it's kind of cool because you can get it in parts rather than buy it all at one time and not spend so much money to do so. So this is the one I was talking about. The Solo Gimbal. So I took a gamble and I went with the Solo Drone. Uh, my previous DJI Phantom Drone. So here's the thing about DJI 3, the, the Phantom Drones. They are entirely non-upgradable. There's no way that you can upgrade these drones at all. The reason why I dislike that fact is because you're really just putting a lot of money into something that you can't fix if you break. For the person like I am, who is a super tech savvy person and likes to work on things, I work on cars, I work on computers, I work on even my cameras and, and broken iPhone screens, I fix everything. 
not having the ability and uh, cost effectiveness to be able to fix my own stuff is super frustrating for me. So by going with this, I have that ability to be able to upgrade my gimbal, to be able to fix the, the drone that I have. Also, with the Solo being a uh, open source drone, I can use uh, different platforms to be able to do things. It's just the firmware updates that they put out, also the ability to be able to uh, add in certain spe certain specifications for the, for the drone itself. You can program things in. It's not withheld to its own uh, manufacturer, which is kind of cool. And if you think about it, in a way, the DJI, the DJI drone is kind of like the iPhone where it's kind of limited and the Solo is kind of like the Android devices where it's a little bit more access, not 100%, but you can do a little bit more with it. So this right here is the gimbal. I'll go ahead and open it up and show it to you guys. Um, it's actually on sale right now. I think I got it for about 38 bucks. Um, I really wish this fit my DJI, but like I said, you just can't upgrade those. Here it is. So this right here fits a GoPro camera 3 plus, and this will be going on the 3DR Solo when I get it. So this is the gimbal right here. Let me go. I want to be delicate with it because I don't want to break it when I first. Because that'd be I, that would be what I would do is break it before I even use it. All right. Come on. So that's it right there. It's pretty good solid construction. It's a composite body. Um, I mean, over here, the motors are, yeah, all composite. It doesn't take $100,000 to be able to, to buy a new one either, which is kind of nice. Also, you have the part where you can add your GoPro in, which is really cool because having that where you can add it in and you can live view it is super cool. I mean, how cool is that? So whenever I, like, for instance, upgrade my GoPro, I can just click it into here, no big deal. With the DJI cameras, you have to get the camera that you're with. Um, I did look into swapping the camera to a newer camera, you just can't do it. The one that I have is the standard. So with this one, I can um, use the current, uh, what is it, the GoPro Silver 3, and uh, move it on up to the, uh, the GoPro 4 or 5, if I like, with this on there. So hopefully, um, my goal is that this thing is going to last a little long, um, I really hope that they don't just like discontinue all of the 3DR parts. Uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. They did stop producing the 3DR for the consumer market and they started working on the com commercial market for uh, uh, contracting, surveying, things like that. So you won't really see too many of these being sold in stores anymore. Uh, the cool thing though also is that uh, Best Buy, Amazon, they're all going on sale right now so you can get them for a pretty good deal. Uh, you'll be seeing this in the video soon. Hopefully I'll get my new drone. Uh, by Saturday at the earliest so you guys see this in the vlog anyways that is the tech review for today the unboxing hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys think in the comments below let's get back to the regular vlog uh, unfortunately it turns out it was one of the kids of my neighborhood that stole our license plate to drive his car which is similar to ours so I talked to his mom to see if we can just get it back. I don't want to get him in trouble or anything like that. So hopefully it gets returned so I don't have to cash out so much money. <sighs> For you younger guys that watch this channel, don't steal, don't do drugs, don't do anything that's going to get you in trouble because it's just a snowball effect. We need to talk about this a little more. I know it sounds kind of cliche to say these things, but it's really important that you guys, the younger generation, stay out of trouble. I really want you guys to really learn from things that people have made mistakes over. It's so easy to fall into that type of way in which you're so stuck in trying to make yourself feel better by doing things that other people are doing or doing things just because they do them. It's really going to get you into trouble and, and it's going to create a snowball effect. And, no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to escape that snowball unless you just hit rock bottom and start fresh. So really focus on making sure the things you do in your life are going to be things that are going to be beneficial to your life. Don't focus on the things that are going to make people happy because in the end, when those people are gone, it's still you in the darkness. So try to focus on making yourself more positive, making yourself more motivated, and keeping yourself afloat. Don't worry about what others think of you. Don't worry about what others are doing. Make sure you are the best you you can be. I got done taking a shower. And uh, I'm just, I mean, I'm chaining this junk off. We did our 100 push-up, 100 sit-up, 
100 um, squat challenge. Um, my legs are killing me, but it's well worth it. If you guys want to join me, please join me. It's so, uh, I feel good about myself right now. I feel like after I work out, I get all bolted up. I'm not really though, I'm not like big or anything. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm all right. But still, um, if you guys want, feel free to join me in my 100 sit-up, 100 uh, squat, 100 push-up challenge. Uh, I'm going to try to do this every day. I'm not going to do it all at once if I can't because it's going to take some time to heal. I'll be taking some protein shakes just to help myself heal a little faster. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that hopefully every day. Uh, if I can do it for a year, that would be awesome. We'll see the results. Uh, I'll get some before and after pictures for you guys. It's only... Uh, Day three of no drinking soda, and I'm like craving it super hardcore right now. It's, I don't know why, it's sugar, I guess. But, anyways, after I get out the shower, I found this on my front porch. Yeah, uh, so I spoke with my neighbor about her license plates because hers were missing, also. Um, she told me that <clears throat> her son may have taken them because uh, mine was missing, also. So, um she pretty much told me to call the cops on him. I said, you know, no, I don't want to get him in trouble. I mean, he's just a kid. There's no reason to get the law involved. And uh, I just told her if, if she sees him, just tell him to bring him back and no harm done. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel pretty good at the fact that he actually, he actually brought them back. You know what I mean? I feel like he, he has some honesty and dignity left in him. And he's not too afraid to, to put his pride away to um, to know that he was wrong. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I feel like I should reach out to him. I might talk with him tomorrow. I mean, in my opinion, sometimes people just need somebody to mentor them. Sometimes people need someone to give them advice. If there's nobody around like that, then they just fall to whatever the world does. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below also on that. Um... Yeah, that's that's it. I'm feeling I feel pretty good about that fact I was really sad about the fact that somebody stole something from me, but uh, I feel uh, Super relieved and I feel better about the fact that I didn't call the cops on him and get him in trouble and Create a conflict between us because that really would have caused conflict And I don't want him to get in trouble just because he's a kid and he made a bad decision. So yeah Thanks so much guys. If you can, make sure you like this video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification so you see our new videos. Thanks guys, you have a great night. I hope you guys have a great, great night. Thank you so much. You guys are all awesome. Peace out.